Hi everyone, this session is about NFA with Epsilon Transitions. In NFA, on reading an input symbol from a state Q, it is possible to move in multiple states. Here is an example, Q on 0, either it can move to Q1 or Q2. In case of NFA with Epsilon Transition, there is an edge labeled Epsilon from a state Q1 to Q2. That means, without reading any input symbol from Q1, it can able to move to the state Q2. This is another mechanism that allows NFA to be in multiple state at once. Coming to the uses of NFA with Epsilon transitions, sometimes it is not possible to design the NFA or DFA directly. In that case, NFA with Epsilon transitions can be designed first and then it can be converted to NFA and then NFA can be converted to DFA. Designing such type of NFA with epsilon transition is very easy but it is not powerful. NFA with epsilon transitions can be represented with a phi tuple notation. Here phi tuple is Q sigma delta Q naught and F. We know that Q is set of finite non-empty states and sigma is input alphabet and delta is a transition function. Q0 is the starting state or initial state of the finite automata and F is set of final states. Now we need to learn about delta, the transition function. On the transitions, along with the input symbols, it can also have the epsilon symbol. The transition function maps to Q cross sigma, not only the input symbols, union, epsilon, maps to 2 power Q. We will see an example how to draw this NFA with epsilon transitions. By seeing this language, we can say that the strings are of the format any number of zeros followed by any number of ones followed by any number of twos. So let's design the NFA with epsilon transitions. Any number of zeros so that Q0 on 0 is moving to the self state and without reading any symbols it can move to the next state that is Q1 with epsilon transition and any number of 1s so that Q1 on 1 it is moving to the self state Q1 on epsilon it is moving to the state Q2 and Q2 is the final state and Q2 on 2 it is moving to the self state that means any number of 2's. So Q0 is the starting state and Q2 is the final state. Any number of zeros. After that without reading any input symbol it can reach to the Q1 with this epsilon transition and Q1 on 1 means any number of 1's and after this without reading any input symbol with this epsilon transition it can move to the state Q2 and Q2 on 2 it can move to the self state and that is final state. We will see one more example for NFA with epsilon transitions. Here L is defined as 0 power k such that k is multiple of 2 or 3. This question cannot be solved in a single step. First, we need to design a finite automata that is 0 power k and k is a multiple of 2 and we need to design one more finite automata 0 power k and k is a multiple of 3. So, first we will design k is a multiple of 2. That means the strings are 0 length string, 2 length string and 4 length string are accepted. We can design this as 0 length string means it is the final state. Q0 on 0 it is moving to the non-final state because 1 length string is not accepted and 2 length string is accepted and 3 length string again it is moving to the state Q1. This is the design for k is a multiple of 2. If k is a multiple of 3, start with Q2 is the starting state and it should also accept the 0 length string. 1 length string is not accepted. So Q3 is non-final state on reading 0. And 2 length strings also not accepted. So that Q3 on 0 it is moving to the state Q4 and Q4 is non-final state. But 3 length strings must be accepted. So that Q4 on 0 it is moving to the state Q2 and Q2 is final state. Now we need to combine these two things. The first one is representing k is a multiple of 2 and the second one is representing multiple of 3. And how to join these two things using NFA with epsilon transitions? Take a starting state S yes, 
and with the epsilon transitions we can join them together and s is the starting state and these nfas with epsilon transitions can be converted to nfa and that nfa can be converted to dfa please do subscribe and thanks for watching